Hey again guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Night and I have another clothing haul video for you guys. So today I got to hit up a few yard sales. The season is officially starting. Um, it was kind of rainy today so there was not a lot going on so I kind of picked and chosed um, as it were the chose. <laughs> picked and chose anyway um the ones that were like rain or shine um and i did really well so i spent a total today i basically hit up two i did an extra estate sale and got nothing there it was just a bust um i did a moving sale which was indoors and i did just a yard sale that was like under a big tent um i've got primarily clothing a couple of pairs of shoes and then like one little vintage item um just because that's what there was uh, at these sales and I spent a total of $138 like between the two and all of the pieces that I got um, evened out it all ends up being $2 a piece so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in and like show you guys everything that I've got and I'll try and let you guys know like roughly what I'm gonna be putting them up for there's some good brands in here and I'm really excited about that um, but at the same time like a lot of the stuff I sold before um but the market is ever changing and ebay is sort of notoriously slow right now for a lot of people um hopefully it's not for you for me it's a little slow so i'm excited to get some more sort of higher end brands and just like a better range in there as well so this is this is all good so let me go ahead and, and get stuck in and show you so the first thing i will show you guys is uh these guys <laughs> so vintage halloween i love that kind of stuff and this does qualify as vintage on the bottom of these pieces does not come with the lights it says 1995 and it's by empire industries i don't know if it's going to focus and let you see that 1995 so 1995 allows me to put this on etsy as a vintage piece these like vintage blow molds even without any lighting in them always do really well for me on etsy um, especially obviously around halloween time i actually sold not that long ago one of these guys but it was like it was a bit slightly bigger version it sold in like less than a couple of hours for 30 dollars. so two dollars a piece and i actually have five of these technically she gave them to me for free which was very nice of her but i sort of evened everything out with the amount i spent and i call it two dollars a piece so i'll be putting them each up for twenty dollars um so that'll be ten dollars into a hundred when all of those sell which is absolutely fine so those will go on etsy next thing i got from this sale is as i dig in my box just a pair of shoes so these just kind of caught my eye they're like a patent are they leather that's a good question to ask Oh goodness yes all leather patent leather yay um and they're kind of like open toe crisscross shoes and then these are the like they're sort of like open wedges and then they're kind of exciting but they are michael kors and they are a size 10 and like i said all leather so these cost two dollars and i'll probably put them up for around 30 35 but i will obviously check comps and stuff as well it was like black shoes are always nice because you can kind of do them as career career and evening and all sorts these i just kind of threw in my bag and forgot i put a lot of things in my bag and forgot but these will do all right so these are older i believe they are ralph lauren it's worn off a little bit but you can see on the sole now they're all leather soles they are a little bit worn they're just like penny loafers um this is what's telling me they're a little bit older as well. They're a size 10. Um, yeah, just black leather while flowing penny loafers. Hmm, 15 to 20. Again, two bucks. Everything is two bucks. Then these are oh, Keens. It's in the bottom as well. And they're just kind of like an almost like a water shoe like a backless water shoe with this like drawstring fastening i honestly have never sold these before but i know the brand is not too bad and for two bucks i will go ahead and put them up even if i got like 15 bucks out of them i'd be happy like i said they may go for more they may go for less um all right some of these things, i have a few things down here in a bag that actually needs to go in the wash because there's a few like marks and stains and stuff but eileen fisher's just like a little linen like button up vest top um flax fantastic brand i always grab this and i got loads of this today so i was really excited this is almost like 
like a pinstripe kind of like or like a seersucker print i don't know but it, they're long linen pants these always do so well for me they have like an elastic back they always have a fun little saying inside of them and the saying is different for each piece so this is i am the creator of my life very exciting so these have just a little mark i just need to put them through again two bucks pants probably go around 25 30. um this is athle sorry athleta i'm going off to one side aren't i it's like a ruched kind of athletic jersey knit dress this is a new brand to me but the comps look promising so i went ahead and grabbed it for a couple of bucks this is Oh, if it shows, it's kind of hard to read. It's cut loose, 100% linen. It's very lag and look, very like baggy. And it's got these big pockets on the front, really nice blue color. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Like I said, comps did look promising. Um, these, I think had one little mark, which I'll go ahead and wash. They are older, they are Tommy jeans. Let me see, what does this tag look like? Sorry, you'd think I'd have done this before. So it has all its information and stuff on the tags. I'm trying to see where they're made to see exactly how old they are. Well, they're Mexico, so they're probably like late 90s, but they're just like a crop jean, but they have like the big flag on the back and they'll do okay. Like, you know, Etsy for like 15 bucks, something like that. And then this just needs to run through the wash as well. And it's just another athleta piece, like a ruched kind of like, almost like an Indian print, red and white top. All right, those are all the things that have like flaws. So I just need to go ahead and get them through the wash. Now, let me dive into the other stuff. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm gonna pick up the pace. <laughs> so everything two bucks. A life is good shirt this one has a flip flops on it and just says the general life is good this is a women's large easily 15 bucks another life is good this is a women's small it has just like a heart print not something that like i would go crazy for but again two dollars that'll go for like 12 to 15 easy this is a torrid size two it is a so that's like a 2x i think in torrid it's this like faux wrap empire waist it is a maxi dress but it's got like a oh, high low situation going on i cannot show you can i <laughs> you have to take my word for it. it's got like a high low thing happening um 30 dollars. i'll probably put that up at with it being a bigger size and like a very classic style and a maxi dress calvin klein jeans these are the just plain old skinny a sort of medium to dark wash. <laughs> oh, where's the tag? This is, oh gosh, I bet you can't see. Can you, toe, anyway. Just kidding. Okay, just trust me. <laughs> Toad and Company. It's got this like ruched side, big pockets on the side, bird print, long kind of jersey knit dress. Um, this is same company, slightly different name, Horny Toad, which is its older name. Horny Toad is its former name. It is now Toad and Company. Again, ruched side, big pocket, pretty much the exact same dress, just without the bird print and a little bit older. This is is another athleta piece it's just a sort of gray black and white print dress with this ruched tie waist very pretty it's actually quite heavy then i'll kind of show you these together these are the exact same same dress just in two different colors this is all from one sale um they were moving to a boat in the Caribbean which it's all right for some and she was just pretty much selling everything so again this is horny toad we have a hot pink one with like a stitch detail down the middle and then we have it's like purple colored counterpart um then we have another piece of flax nice just kind of button up shirt lag and look boho artsy these are all keywords that you would want to use with a piece like this, kind of like a pleated back detail, long sleeve. This, I need to just tack 
the side of the uh, tag back on. It kind of came off in transit, but it is an Ely, Ellie, Eli, one of those things, Tahari. Um, and it's just this really pretty, like boho paisley empire waist v neck short sleeve dress, perfect for summer. This is a pair of women's cool. Oh, it's not a pair, it's a skirt, just kidding. Like a kind of khaki green, army green skirt. Here is the logo, in case you ever see it. Uh, there's Toad and Company dresses, I'm gonna say, probably put them up for like 25 to 30 a piece with best offer free shipping. The cool skirt, I'm gonna have to do my research on that. Flax, pants and tops as singular, probably like 25 to, th probably about 30 actually a piece. Um, sorry, I know I haven't been giving you prices on much. <sighs> I'm, I apologize. Honestly, I'm not too sure. I'm adapting so much right now with eBay and what's going on. Like I'm trying shipping on, shipping off, best offer on everything, price high, put sales on, price like, like just seeing what works. So my price is kind of all over the place, but I keep going with like trying to pick up some good pieces. That's the main thing. So free people, just like a pink and kind of oatmeal color little cardigan with like a rib section at the bottom and different buttons, very cute. Actually, what is your fabric content? Let us find out. It's a wool blend. Oh, it's a lamb's wool, rabbit hair, wool blend. Hmm. Okay. Um, I will take it for $2, all right. Prana, which is like a yoga brand, like a very nice athletic kind of yoga brand. This is a very sort of, again, like, wide loose fit boxy fit almost like a sublimation print kind of top um all right and then i got a whole bunch of bras at one sale so again like two bucks a piece they are i'm just gonna tell you right now they're all kashik i will show you the label so you can see what that is that is like an offshoot or like the la uh, lingerie version of like lane bryant so it tends to be like a plus size Lingerie, they are all 46C, which is okay. I prefer if they were bigger, but that's okay. There's Kashyyyk. I think that's how you say it. That's how I say it. So we have just like a plain white. Some of them will have like specific names of the kind of bras that they are, um, which is always preferable because then that's just like extra keywords that you get to go on. Um, so like this is a wire balconette. So that is a keyword that I would definitely uh, have in my title. Just kind of like a nice coral polka dot kind of one nice black pinstripe leaf print this one is a front fastening which is always good black with like a sort of peach lace detail strapless which again is always good and I have a feeling I left the straps in the box now that I think back <laughs> I think I saw some straps floating around that's okay, I'll just sell it as is, it's no big deal. Um, and then nude with some lace as well. God, don't you hate when you do that? You realize you, like when you leave the belt behind or something, oh, does anyone else do that? <laughs> You'd think I would learn, but no, evidently not. Okay, pair of American Eagle, just like little frayed, slightly distressed denim shorts. These are a, where are you? I know I saw it somewhere. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's all you are. Okay. Usually with American Eagle, you can look in the front here and it will tell you like embroidered like a style of what they are, but I don't see that in here. So anyway, uh, good season for that. Probably put them up for around 14 or 15. Little pair of Calvin Klein, just like khaki shorts. These, okay, these are Lucky Brand and they're like, cargo shorts but i have them in black gray and just like your traditional tan khaki so i'm probably gonna lot them together and put them on auction we shall see do, do, do. okay american eagle women's like black walking bermuda sh shorts kind of thing um and the piece of flax just like a short sleeve button-up shirt with kind of like a, a ruffle hem it's pretty. Here we go. Keep going. 
I love the print on this, it's really pretty. Okay, this is another horny toad. I oh, can see that better there. There's this little logo. The print is really cute, like a teal and kind of brown color, but it's just a long sleeve dress with pockets. Uh, this is another horny toad short sleeve with like a flower, whoops, sorry, like a kind of flower, almost like, tr no, it's not a tree, it's flower print on the side very nice like mint green hmm this is cool again this is just a long sleeve ruched women's top again i'm not too sure what that's going to go up for i'll do my research um, of like do its exact style and stuff if i can and that should help this is a brand i have not picked up before but again the comps looked really promising um it is as you see there was it la fixin made in the usa um 100 linen again i don't know it's like very lag and look very kind of boho baggy big pockets on the side and stuff like i said the comps looked promising so i went ahead and grabbed it for two bucks why not you have to try new things this is fresh produce it's almost like a it's not sublimation i'd almost call it like a batik Print. what do you think really pretty colors kind of like three-quarter sleeve long dress <laughs> this is we the free free people it's just like a very thin knit like a sweater tunic dress and you see it comes down has like this huge handkerchief hem I don't know it's a cool piece for sure they are just like devil to photograph do you want to think that like when you get like these free people pieces that have like layer upon layer like i just don't even know where to begin to photograph them to like show them off properly okay another flax piece this is a dress like a tunic kind of dress this i think goes with it it is a pair of ah, pants there it is again exact same color however i am going to sell them separately I believe unless I see something to the contrary I think this goes with the purple shirt as well that tells me that like they absolutely need to go together because they'll make me a lot more money I'm gonna separate them and sell them uh, as two separate pieces I've always done that in the past just because it seemed to have make me more money like if I can ask 30 for each rather than like 45 for the set I'm gonna do that long just like your standard white vest kind of thing flax again and then one more piece of flax i really hit like the flax gold mine um this is a cool piece this will go for higher just because it's as you can see they usually do like the the solids and stuff like that the fact that this has like a cool print and some really nice colors and stuff in it and these giant pockets that's going to go for a bit more i would say all right last pile oh very standard just a pair of beige like khaki columbia walking shorts yeah like 12 bucks and Ann taylor loft like distressed frayed like bermuda kind of style shorts a pair of adidas there's the what is it climber climber 365 just like drawstring athletic shorts very standard again like bucks something like that american eagle again like khaki uh like cropped shorts but they can roll up as well they have like the button detail where you can roll them on up these arizona jeans they are not a brand that i would usually pick up however fourth of july is coming and as a rule <laughs> i always pick up jeans that are like the american flag whether they are like colored or patterned whatever like these uh, stars and stripes i always do they always sell really well before fourth of july for me that's just something i've learned over the years i always grab them no matter what the brand if they're in good shape um okay levi's these are the boyfriend jean they are a size 20 w just a nice pair of like dark wash jeans um Jessica Simpson, again, not a brand I would usually get. However, these are the Kiss Me Jegging. And again, they are a size 20W. 
So because of the size and the jegging style and the dark wash, I went ahead and picked them up for two bucks. These have a button missing. Again, don't you just hate that? It's always this inner button. I always forget to look like here <laughs> where it fastens. Must make a habit of that. Anyway, these are just um, Torrid size 22. They're an older Torrid, that's the older tag. And it's just like a check gingham plaid kind of Bermuda short again. I may put them up on auction since they have a button missing. I don't usually fix them myself. Um, another piece, this is Columbia. It's like a kind of tank top with a cut out back. Very nice blue color, size extra large. We are getting there. Thank you for hanging in with me. Um, Pink by Victoria's Secret. Just a standard little t-shirt in like a leopard print animal print. Again, like 12 bucks, that's fine by me. Life is good again. Long sleeve this time and it has this harmony like person with their dog. So that will do well, I would think, with that particular um, design on it. Sort of the quirky or more specific the design, the better it sells, I find in my opinion, in my experience. Um, okay, so these are Gap jeans, loose, straight fit. They are size 42, 32. Well, they were, they're cut off. They're cut offs. Did someone cut them off? We'll find out. I'll measure the inseam and find out. But anyway, uh, sort of larger size denim shorts by Gap. These were the boyfriend jean Gap. These, oh no, no one cut these off because they're like cuffed. Anyway, distressed. They, they should do pretty well as well. Oh, we are almost there. ASOS. It's just like a pretty, almost like a peplum style. Um, spaghetti strap, v-neck top. And last but not least, this is a free people again. This is like a cocoon shrug sweater cardigan kind of thing long sleeve really pretty knit all over and i didn't realize until i got home but it's new with tags which is also good always good for two bucks right Ta -da! all right Whew. that is everything <laughs> so now i have a whole lot of work to do this week to photograph process list all this kind of stuff um but i think i did pretty good for like a hundred and almost 140 dollars or whatever everything two bucks a piece like i said i should only have to sell like three pieces of flax maybe four to make that money back just depending on what what piece it is and everything else is pretty much just pure profit rolling in <sighs> a good day's work all right guys thank you so much for tuning in to watch my haul video hit the like button if you enjoyed the video um subscribe if you want to see more and hang out some more and guys just have an awesome week and keep on listening all right i'll talk to you soon bye <laughs>